to bring an urgent concern to your attention regarding an upcoming appearance scheduled with Hassan Parker. It has come to my attention that Hassan Parker is known for promoting anti-Semitic views and expressing support for terrorism-related activities. Oh, bro, please get a job, brother. Get a job dog that's crazy they have brigading email templates man might be weird to say this but this makes me feel bad for him them i i agree i i do too they they'll never believe me when i say this but but yeah i, I do like doing this stuff is crazy you're about to get filled in. Philip DeFranco has thrown his hat in the drama ring, it seems. So let's talk about Ethan Klein and Hassan Piker. They're both big creators in the streaming and podcast space. They're former co-hosts. You know, with this specific situation, it starts and is mainly focused on Ethan Klein, who's facing backlash again. And this time, it was over a game that he played on his podcast yesterday. Today, my friends, we are gonna play the exciting game here. You at home, play along. Where are you going to play? Is it Twitch or is it a terrorist? <laughs> Let's take a look here, guys. Uh, start. You know, there's more to the game, but even just that part right there alone that faced tons of backlash. With a number of people think that it was wrong that the opening image was a side-by-side -side of Hassan Piker and Osama bin Laden. And in fact, at a later point in the game, you had someone from H3's team, AB, even calling that out. I don't know who made this, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the uh, Hassan and Osama on the front page. They need well, to... at least, well, at least if they're gonna compare them, I mean, I'll guess. Right, and so with all this, it appears that they were playing a game from a website called Twitch or Terrorist.com. And to play, you had to read quotes and guess if a Twitch streamer or a terrorist said it. And they all ended up being Twitch streamer quotes, mostly from other creators by the name of like Sneeko and Myron, who've been heavily criticized for anti- They're not even, they're, for the record, they're, these guys aren't even Twitch streamers, okay? And yes, it is insane to just like put actual anti-semites alongside people who are not anti-semitic but pro-palestinian in an effort to be like see they're all terrorists look at all these guys i didn't expect you to cover this i wouldn't have but philly d is covering it semitism in the past for posts like these which made its way into the game but also included one post each from hassan and frogan who's another creator ethan's called out and feuded with in the past but again most ended up being from creators sneeko and myron so he ended up closing the game by saying you're right though that game sucks it was just not enough variety they didn't prove anything because all the anti semites was just like Myron and Sneeko. And so all that happens, but then once the clips. I can't believe that they couldn't find anti Semitic quotes of me, perhaps because I'm not an anti Semite. Why doesn't this have more quotes of Hassan being anti-Semitic? ...of Ethan playing the game make their way to Twitter, there was backlash everywhere. With a number of people saying things like Ethan Klein comparing a Muslim anti-war content creator to Osama bin Laden. He got other Muslim and Jewish content creators banned for calling Sabra hummus the lowest tier commercial hummus because a lot of Israelis eat it. What the actual hell? As well as Islamophobia on full display. And if Ethan Klein actually cared about anti-Semitism instead of merely feeling disrespected... Noah Colwin? Whoa! Whoa! I gotta text my mans. Be like, yo, you made it, Noah. You made it on the Philly D. If you think Klein actually cared about anti Semitism instead of merely feeling disrespected, he would consider what it means to represent Jewish people by being a nonstop whiny bigot. He would consider what it means to represent Jewish people by being a nonstop whiny bigot. Even had some tagging YouTube social accounts to say that they're platforming racism and hate. And we even saw Hassan Piker himself responding, saying, My former podcast co host misunderstood me when I said in America that anti Semitism is institutionally unacceptable, but Islamophobia is permitted, if not encouraged. Yesterday, he proved my point. While that received a lot of support, you also had some people responding to Hassan. Yeah. Yeah. How is this Islamophobic? Hassan and his friends repeat terrorist talking points. There's nothing to do with Islam. Hassan, the game is funny. All you and your friends talking points are indiscriminate for actual terrorists. In what way can you say Islamophobia is permitted unless you believe all Muslims are terrorists? Lima fail! These are literally 2003. This, we're back in 2003. Please, I need you to see one of the terrorist quotes. Please, you'll never guess who it is. The truth is that after several decades of neoliberalism, the rich are becoming increasingly richer while the poor are both more numerous and increasingly poorer. <sighs> Anyway, let's continue. Let's just defending continue. Ethan in the game and accusing critics of misrepresenting it. But again, there was also a fair share of people echoing what Hassan said, with some also noting that this came after Ethan went on his Instagram stories to call out Hassan and accuse him of only pretending to care about anti-Semitism. And Ethan ended up responding to- Which is crazy, by the way. Like, that was also crazy. Only pretending to care about anti-Semitism is wild. Like, I I've, I've stood by this man side by side and we've dunked on- anti-semites together you know what i mean and anti-semitism together like what the fuck is going on read his pose is psychotic i haven't even read any of this shit myron is an easy dunk he makes it incredibly easy to virtue signal that you are against anti-semitism if Hassan cared about anti-semitism he would listen to his jewish friend when he expressed his genuine concern for anti-semitism festering in his own community 
First of all, friend is is wild. That's a that's a wild thing to just drop in there after like a month of crash outpost after crash outpost demanding that an adpocalypse happen on Twitch because Twitch is uh housing clansmen and Nazis and that I am like a anti-semite that's wild to be like oh but i'm just your friend your jewish friend which is also additionally crazy considering that i have a ton of jewish friends none of them agree with ethan what the f that's insane and we literally insta ban anti-semitism in this community like i personally do it regularly if it's not cared about anti-semitism you stop purity testing every jew based on zionist anti-zionist a term that has lost all meaning 90 percent of jews globally would be considered a zionist a term that encapsulates both religious supremacists who believe they have a mandate from god to settle in the west bank and every secular reformed jew in the world who thinks israel should continue to exist <sighs> I do not purity test every Jew based on Zionist, anti-Zionist. That is insane. I've not only never done that, I don't know why the f he's even saying that I do that. What the f And for the record, Zionism has not lost its meaning. If it did, I don't know why you, were, you would say that like 90% of Jews globally are, are considered Zionists, which I also disagree with as well. If Hassan cared about anti-Semitism, he would not hand wave away blatant Jew hatred from his friend Frogan. He would, yeah, I know, I should, I should, I should put Frogan in a dunk tank for, for doing the uh, tier list that, that Rafi and themselves like put on the A-Rabs podcast. That was perfectly fine. And everybody understood exactly what the fuck it was. Hassan cared about blatant Jew hatred from his actual friend Frogan, who would not platform uncritically a terrorist affiliated militant who flags a curse upon the Jews, nor would he play Houthi propaganda uncritically to his audience who fly the same flag. He would not call. You know what's really funny? <clears throat> I've talked about the Houthis uh, uh, banner multiple times. <laughs> Which is like another part of this process that uh, is, of course, always not repeated. But regardless, let's continue. He would not call Hassan Nasrallah a brilliant man or say he has no problem with Hezbollah, a man in his organization that has explicitly called for the genocide of Jews. Hassan, if you cared, you would read this instead of laughing about how crazy I am based on a Chatter's brain dead summary of my post. I like that I addressed all of these talking points a million times over, but you know, yeah, there it is. I read it and it still sounds crazy. Contextualizing and offering analysis to how certain non-government organizations exist is not a de facto carte blanche defense of the way that they exist or the things that they do that's it ethan literally looks for clips in the destiny reddit yeah i know i like that a lot of ethan's uh a lot of ethan's well-sourced criticisms directly come from the destiny subreddit that he's like scoured like straightforwardly and that is actually causing valid concerns but considering that the Destiny subreddit is routinely scouring my stream, I'm very familiar with the talking points. So, of course, I don't even have to see it to know exactly where these uh, valid concerns are coming from, because I've addressed it a million times over. I address it every single day. But let's continue. To call out Hassan and accuse him of only pretending to care about anti-Semitism. Yeah. Myron's the Ethan easy ended up responding. Why is this on? Why is this on a game called Twitch or Terrorist? Because he's accused of supporting terrorism by Ethan. <laughs> That is the beginning and end of this analysis. There are plenty of quotes on the site from non-Muslims. I didn't make the site. I opened it for like two minutes and mostly talked about how dumb it is. We immediately commented on how dumb the Osama versus Hassan comparison is. We, unless he's speaking French here, is uh, carrying a lot of the burden. I think it was AB who commented on how bad it was and you chose to continue, but what do I know? And this game for the record was Islamophobic from the jump. The idea that like all of these, all of these pro-Palestinian content creators are like automatically terrorists, like it's ridiculous, okay? Bundling actual anti-Semites like Myron and Sneeko with people like myself. Also, very weird, very weird sh and slapping terrorism as a designation on it. Also very weird. Now, a lot of other content creators on this fucking website, Twitch, you know, the one that is uh, dangerously anti-Semitic, according to Ethan, that a lot of content creators, including Asmongold, have played this game. Why didn't I f sharp about it then? Because what the f am I supposed to do? I can't do anything about it, okay? Islamophobia is completely permitted. It's permissible. That's just the truth. Both bigotries, anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, are unacceptable. They're unacceptable. That's it. And I will never accept it. And I always combat it. And I always have, and I always will. But the way that institutions, organizations, the way they treat Islamophobia versus anti-Semitism is different. Islamophobia is broadly accepted. Now, the part, the reason why it is, is because in the post 9-11 universe, America had to do a whole bunch of social conditioning to get people primed to go destroy the Middle East. Anyway, I closed out two minutes, said the game was done because it just keeps quoting Sneeko and Myron, which doesn't prove anything. We saw why he 
uh, quit the game. He intent and it, well, I don't think it was after two minutes. He intentionally quote retweets someone that misrepresents lies about what's in the video and even calls me Islamophobic or something I didn't even do. Dude, come on, man, come on. Like the Islamophobia stuff is not even new. Like holy sh. It was always cringe. It was like something that I tried to communicate to him even way back when, when he was like doing the, if you're a gay sex worker, you'd get thrown off the roofs in Gaza to like Muslim people on the timeline. Like, get out of here. Like, it's not, this is not like a new found thing here. Come on. To all this backlash himself writing, question, why is Hassan in a game called Twitcher Terrorist? Answer, because he is accused of supporting terrorism. That is the beginning and end of this analysis. Arguing that there were plenty of quotes on the site that came from non-Muslims and that he didn't even make the site himself. He only played the game on it for a few minutes. And then also saying Hassan's post about the situation was misleading and saying Hassan was accusing him of being Islamophobic for things he didn't even do. You know, with like I, that's the funniest part about it is like I don't know who Ethan is going to convince that he's not being Islamophobic when I think you know this is not a conversation that has taken uh that much space in this process but like come on dude like okay I mean the community that made that website is Destiny's community and Destiny is an open Islamophobe he's like proud of it he says he is I am Islamophobic and I hate Islam I'm an atheist yes I will make Islamophobic jokes because I do hate Islam, and I am Islamophobic. It wasn't Dan who made it, but a Destiny Discord, Dcuck Discord mod. Sticks six stuff out there. Front page. They need Whoa. a... What is this? Here's some emails and example template. It's preferred if you deviate from it as much as possible. Subject, urgent concern regarding upcoming uh, upcoming appearance with Hassan Piker and then a whole bunch of emails. Dear CNN, I'm writing to bring an urgent concern to your attention regarding an upcoming appearance scheduled with Hassan Piker. It has come to my attention that Hassan Piker is known for promoting anti-Semitic views and expressing support for terrorism-related activities. Oh, bro, please get a job, brother. Get a job dog that's crazy they have brigading email templates man they have one for the dnc execs oh yeah there was another hold on there was another thing there was that jstlk guy who was like literally sending fake to the dnc this is probably what they sent to the usc too right yeah Twenty-seven thousand emails to the USC to the USC deans to try to stop me from speaking on campus. The box text is code to spam email. They're using bots. Yeah, are they even trying to combat anti-Semitism? Will they accuse you of anti-Semitism? No, they don't. They're not combating anti-Semitism. If they were, they would be combating themselves. I like that they also. Yeah, they, these guys claim they're not obsessed with you. They have an entire Discord server dedicated to this. But also, I remember when I was at the DNC, JSTLK, one of uh, Destiny's orbiters, was openly admitting that he was sending fake messages and sh that they concocted specifically to the DNC. And they're like, yeah, I don't give a f that it's fake. Who cares? Like, just, you know, cause some commotion. Oh, here it is. This is the one. Dude, could you imagine? Hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, nobody's watching this, okay? But we need this sigh up, okay? I need somebody to go and show, all right, like text messages with somebody at the D, we need to fake text messages, okay? From a dgg -er to the DNC that's just saying like, hey, Hassan Piker was saying this at the DNC, okay? We don't actually need, the, it doesn't need to be real, just needs to be convincing fake DMs, okay? Of you DMing somebody at the DNC. Go to LinkedIn, find somebody who could make decisions, okay? Fake DMs with them, okay? Fake the DMs of, of you saying, here's the clip of him saying this shit, all right? Here's the clip of him. No, no, no. It's a joke, guys. We don't actually... I'm saying that just to fuck with him, okay? So you no, fake the DMs. You fake the yeah. DMs of you reporting his Israel clip, his rudeness to the hostages, to the DNC, and them saying, oh, maybe it's not appropriate. He's here the next day, okay? And then when he's going to leave, also say, hey, I'm watching his stream. You didn't take his press credentials away, okay? Yeah, this is like shit that had already happened at this point. And he was like trying to meme like they're like oh yeah we're gonna make like fake messages back and forth to have a a, a fun little to take credit for it basically make it believable <clears throat> make it believable and we'll tweet it out all right i'm telling you that this will actually this will make him one official new account and one dg Zero. look at like look at the level of obsession dude why would you want to stream this dude it's just it's unbelievable the level of so they did get you kicked out? No, they didn't. They wanted to they wanted to take ownership over it to be like we did it. We were we were the ones who uh got him kicked out or whatever. Reporting it. 
Well, maybe, 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 okay? I'm just saying that... I like, this person's name, username, on kick is Hisan Abi. Like, that's psychotic, man. If we have these things, and somebody posts them, you don't even need that. You need, like, okay, you need somebody posting it to what you need. Uh, maybe this is what you mean, okay? Tom Pinion, ex-girlfriend. Maybe this is what you mean, is we need somebody... I will, I will retweet this, but it'll be somebody who posts it in the community and says, look. Bro, this is literally just, like, maximum stalker shit. He's taking credit for shit like his internet troll ISIS. Why are these dudes so weird? Well, just a reminder that this dude straight up said that it was f***ing up his real life experiences that he couldn't stop himself from saying the N-word in, in and around like normal people. They had a long back and forth about like the ethics of saying the N-word and how it was actually ruining his life because he just kept accidentally having to say it. Soft A? I'll say the soft A when the opportunity arises. Um, probably enough that it's like getting concerning for my real life. Um, I had this happen to me in college, actually, where like I played video games a lot, a and I would N use word. the soft day then, and okay. and then it happened when I was like in a computer lab one night doing homework at like three a.m. I was talking to my buddy, I I said something with a soft day, and he he was not expecting it. Okay, his eyes perked right up. He was like falling asleep, and then he was like, "Holy sh! I got Hassan kicked out from the DNC." Okay. And then I'll, I'll, I'll retweet it and I'll say, <laughs> holy shit, this is hilarious, okay? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it'll be... <laughs> um, it will be very funny. I think Tom will cover this? Which Tom? Turkey Tom? Maybe Turkey Tom. Yeah, they have like all of their all of their orbiters too that are like in the YouTube commentary sphere that are Keemstar aligned that will just like lap up any kind of like anti-Hassan shit and cover it with the utmost sincerity like this is the most important this is the most important thing that has happened i think he was covering some other hassan stuff on twitter i need to start using twitter again i haven't been using it enough but i'm just telling you that this would be so f funny you still want the clip of hassan fighting with a pro i do yes so i will watch that in a second sorry i forgot this is my true passion in life is just a logging hassan being unhinged okay i i wasn't sure i wanted to listen I get a little sad streaming sometimes. I'm like, why am I doing this? And then we get to watch some Hassan content. And I remember that this is my passion, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, brother. When I say this shit is insane, okay? When I say this shit is like legitimately sad, this is what I mean. You still want the clip of Hassan fighting with a pro? I do, yes. So I will watch that in a second. Sorry, I forgot. This is my true passion in life is just A-logging Hassan being unhinged, okay? I, what I, does a logging mean? I don't even know what that means. I wasn't sure I wanted to listen. I get a little sad streaming sometimes. I'm like, why am I doing this? And then we get to watch some Hassan content, and I remember that this is my passion. Okay, it's a four this chan is where term. I be. This is everything I want in life is right here, right now. All right. A term used to describe one's expressing disproportionate levels of hatred for someone, often including wishing them physical harm, usually for perceived crimes, in air quotes, that are they are guilty, in air quotes, of. The question I have always is like, why would you reveal that? You know what I mean? If like that is your legitimate point of view, why would you ever reveal that? Like how hug boxed are you? How echo chambered are you into thinking that like, nah, this is this is fire. Like I'm gonna, I'm going to admit to every single person that's watching right now that I would probably kill myself if it wasn't for the fact that I have a hyper fixation on a content creator who didn't even know I existed until this very moment. From 4chan site, a logging is a term used to describe the act of overplaying or exaggerating the negative traits of someone lulzy at irrational levels. What's so shocking about this incredibly pathetic display of someone voluntarily revealing that they are basically not fully human, you know? They've just lost their humanity in this process, and they're simply an instrument of another content creator's will. What's so crazy about it is that it has not worked, so I think, like, in that process, they just get even more angry. That's what's so crazy about it. I feel bad for them too, Chatter. That's not even a joke. I do. Might be weird to say this, but this makes me feel bad for him, them. I, I agree. I, I do too. They, they'll never believe me when I say this, but, but yeah, I, I do. Like, doing this stuff is crazy. Here's some recent articles. A congressional letter from Congressman Ruggitore is discussing Hassan Piker's views. If you would like any additional details, specific information about this content creator's past statements and affiliations, like, they are, they're like, oh, we found a, we found a, a new way to 
relive the glory days of Gamergate is what these guys are doing. To be continued. What is this? Okay, within minutes, folks. I need someone to find clips of Hassan discouraging people from voting. This might have some helpful things from the article. Biden shouldn't expect any little support Hassan Piker offered last time. They scour. They're probably in here watching right now, by the way. Like a couple thousand of them. Definitely in here. Very excited at the at the prospect of, you know, getting noticed. And apparently, I guess, like, what? Ethan was uh, uh, DMing this guy? I'm sure I could find something about that. I'm not back to digging for stuff until Friday. Twitch bans Israel. That's the name in the Discord server. I'm sure I can find something about that. And chair stream gotta wait now. Okay, within minutes, folks. I need I need to find some clips of Hassan discouraging people from voting. Give me what you can. On Wednesday's episode, Ethan reviewed several clips of Hassan's content. Several times throughout the episode, he started texting with someone, and it appears they were sending him links. What the f and, and influence he had on them, it was to not vote. Could be wrong. And maybe I, I haven't am. heard that from him. Yeah. Dude, I've seen so many clips. I've okay, seen so I mean, many clips. I, again, I'll pull I've sort of Sorry, I'm catching up on. Sounds like Ethan needs clips of Hazan encouraging people not to vote. Something. He's just actually oh, yeah. saying. Here, I don't know what that. Pull this video up. I don't know if it's good or not. It's the Spriggs guy, Ethan Klein was messaging. The Spriggs guy made the logo for that terrorist site. I heard Reddit nerds echoing this talking point. Yeah, I mean, Reddit is very, uh, Reddit is endlessly brigadable. So there's not much you can do, especially if it's like, if you're brigading in a, in a pro-Israel kind of way, holy sh Go look at world news, you know what I mean? They use bots to scrape every single message from Twitch chat and Discord. They have guides on their sites on how to download the VODs to scrape the logs and clip out of context. That is the reason why I originally uh, paywalled the VODs for subscriptions. Because I was like, if you're going to do all that, might as well give me some money for it. But a lot of people in my community were like, well, I rely on the VODs to keep up. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I'll take it. It's all good. Maybe it's time to get some restraining orders. There is nothing you can do to cyber harassment. There is nothing you can do about it. There is no apt legislation to stop something like this from happening. Just so you understand. It does not exist. Yeah, they have a hustler you for basically slandering me. I think it's time for their Discord to get nuked. Yeah, I don't know why Discord allows them to do this kind of insane brigading and harassment campaigns. I think Ethan realizes that the hate D community has for you is so unhinged, so he's afraid to admit using them to further his own campaign it seems like even ethan wants to not hurt his credible atta attacks on you and admit he's using that community to find avenues to attack you yeah well you know yeah i don't know why discord allows that kind of shit to fly but so does reddit really give me what you got if you can from destiny's community two white millionaires argue what destiny's mods originally asked for a clip of us on discouraging people from voting 3 55 p.m pacific <laughs> Someone sends the Destiny mod this post. Back to the HD podcast a few minutes later. Speak of the election or something. This one's recent. Let's see what this one is. What this fucking I like guy. that uh, the crew's like, come on, let's just speak of the let's speak of the election, please. And he's like, no, we we have to speak on Hassan, who does not vote for sure and tells people not to vote. Right. 3 57 me. PM PST. Look at the copy on the bottom left of the screen. And all the efforts. Oh, two white millionaires argue that voting... Oh, yeah, it's directly from Reddit. Wow, what a crazy coincidence. Surely that didn't the happen again, here. right? No stone unturned here. Dude, the answer is here. <laughs> the proof is right here in the pudding, and we're about to taste the pudding. Can you send... I just you need another I mean? clip. Okay, with the minutes from the article, wait, this is the same one. Destiny's mod requests examples of Hassan discouraging people from voting again at 406. Okay, within minutes, I need to find some clips of Hassan discouraging people from voting. Someone provides a clip titled, Hassan is asked when he will endorse Kamala. By the way, I'm willing to bet that that's probably a gray name sock account that was also asking that too. Here's another one I got. Why you guys look for that? <laughs> <laughs> uh fighting for a brighter future may be hard work. Again, look at the title of the video on the bottom of the uh, screen. <laughs> Endorsing hard his ticket. I mean, when I see some f momentum on Gaza.
By the way, in that clip, you want to know what's funny? I think in that clip, I literally talk about how if Kamala Harris actually changes trajectory on Gaza, I would start my door knocking operation tomorrow. That very same clip that they're using. It was wild. Ethan kept looking for a video of you encouraging not to vote. When it didn't work, he would try to find another one, three different videos. And it's ironic because I think the day prior to that, prior to the election, I quite literally voted on stream and I have always urged people to vote. Always. Ethan is the kind of guy that if he hates you, he really hates you and given enough time, he can convince himself to hate anyone and anything. Yeah, I just, I, look, my point is, I, I hope that Ethan can, you know, maybe take a step back from this stuff. And it's not because I'm like genuinely fearful that he is exposing my secret anti-Semitism or some shit that he's going to assume I'm saying. I, I wish him well, just like I wish all of those other haters well, you know what I mean? Including that one guy who's like, my entire life's purpose is to, to basically, f what is it, A-logging Hassan? I want everyone to be healthy. I want everyone to have a good life, okay? Regardless. I guess that's the difference. In this even includes destiny, by the way. Like, I think that he would be an infinitely happier person if he didn't constantly get in his own way. Like, for example, and um, yeah. here, I'm going to show you my attitude and then i'm going to show you his attitude um i guess my first question is going to be uh do you really think hassan and mike from pa should kill themselves i wish they would yes do you think that's at all a harmful statement to make that goes against i don't know just objective morality no i think their deaths by suicide <laughs> would make the world a safer place for more people like you have a kid man you have a child like go take care of your kid what the f this shit is obviously not good for you like why why is, why are you festering in your own anger and resentment and envy the drama is definitely profitable i think that's a key point around this stuff for sure but here's the thing while the drama is profitable and i'm sure asmongold is gonna cover what destiny said here about me and mike from pa anytime any day i'm waiting on it I'm sure when Asmongold catches wind of this clip, he's going to be very upset. The thing I was trying to say is that while this is, I mean, and I don't give a shit for the record, while this right here might be profitable, it's robbing you of your soul, okay? This level of hatred and toxicity, unironically, and not just for Destiny himself, but for his entire community, is unhealthy. This level of pathological obsession is unhealthy, straight up. Working so hard to tear someone down may get you money in the short term, but it's corrosive. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you lost the debate the mic on the most basic shit of all time like six years ago and still holds on to this anger? Yeah. The technique is common, okay? If he feels embarrassed or slighted by you and it hurts his like narcissistic ego, he will never let you forgive it. Or he will never let you forget it and he will make your life living hell permanently. He will always try to lol cow you and bully you and attack you and use uh, his community who is willing participants in this process forever. There's a reason why so many people that have encountered Destiny who aren't still firmly within his orbit, never to get larger than him, mind you, you know, because God forbid that would be terrifying, are always victim to the same kind of cyber stalking and cyber harassment campaigns. Always looking at why other people are responsible for their favorite internet debate god being perceived as someone who is f***ing gross. It's this kind of sh man that's it it's literally the burning bridge joke for them they wait for it and hope for it so they can go off and start harassing people yeah it's a community that is entirely around entirely built around just like tackling his enemies for him and it's ironic that like most people don't even touch it like most people don't even bother to turn destiny into a lol cow when he is a target rich environment for such an activity two-time divorce champion constantly having a hard time keeping up relationships with people because he's so gross rapacious little nerd you know but the real reason why most people don't even bother to f lol cow him in this way is because they don't even want to deal with the repercussions drawing the ire of his community that's it why are you projecting so much yes brother i'm projecting there's not much else you can do uh in this process like a lot of these dudes and many of them are in here right now are straight up delusional like they will genuinely repeat the most delusional sh like, they'll be like, oh, you're obsessed. You're obsessed with him. It's like, come on, brother. Just key search destiny in my f YouTube or my Discord and then key search Hassan in his and you will understand who's dilute, who's actually fucking pathologically obsessed with the other person. Well, just did the key search and it's f 
wild how many Hassan vids he has? Yes. You know what's interesting is that Destiny's community was trying this before the Israel shit and Ethan recognized it and saw how insane it was. Interesting he joined them when they confirmed his own biases. Yeah. I get why D was ignored all the time now on stream. F wild behavior from that community. The craziest part is, despite my best attempts of ignoring and hoping that like he will find some success in his life and f move on, he never did. This has been ongoing for five f years. And it's hilarious because it leads to sh like, yeah, Ludwig barely talked about him. His community swarmed him. Weird behavior on their part. They f hate Ludwig now. And they were trying to debate Ludwig on how their favorite internet debate lords vibes were unparalleled and unmatched like think about that man what are you what are you doing like you're trying to debate somebody else on f vibes you didn't even personal you weren't there you don't know what his own personal feelings on the matter are like that's crazy why are you doing that yeah cheeseball gate yeah or whatever the f it was how the f are you gonna hate on the human equivalent of a goddamn golden retriever dude that's insane to me, okay? Ludwig is like mathematically the least hateable person. That's crazy. Like being like, no, nah, I hate him because he's uh, Hassan's boy. Hassan is like mind controlling him. And yeah, not to mention that we talked about cutie or slime. It's just all toxicity all the way down, you know? Oh.